Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Journeyman Save here on FM21 on the Chesnoy Place channel. We are in the midst of a January transfer window. Still a lot of fixes between now and the end of the month, annoyingly. The squad is growing, however. We've made some signings already with Byram, Steele, Aniki, Collins and Oliveira coming in for free. We're also trying to turn... Uh, Aaron Presley's loan into a permanent deal in this window as well. And hopefully Joel Latibaudier will join us in this window as well. Although he has also had bids for him or contracts offered to him by Mansfield and Colchester. So, and Burton are showing a bit of interest as well. So I don't know if he'll actually sign for me. We are looking to make a number of other signings though, if we can. We have the budget available to do so. So we will try and do so. But we start today by jumping straight into a game against Cambridge. Well, hopefully we can get a solid result. This could be Oliveira's first game for us. Uh, I'm actually going to play Byron right back, I think, to start, rather than in midfield. Kilgore in defence, Bogar at centre-back. Still going to play Archie Brown at left-back for a little while. Then Sam on the right, Zane. Uh, Mr. Kieftenbeld in there. Then on the left, Koiki. Up top, Presley, and alongside him, Chucks and Niki. And then on the bench, obviously, we'll throw Jason Steele, Carl Norton, Archie Collins, Chapchet, Babbitts, Egan, and Hutchinson, who is still on his way back from a pulled car. So probably unusable, but we at least max out our bench capacity there. Two players need numbers. They now have the numbers, and we're off to play Cambridge. Right, drop the video a like if you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on more. Follow the link in the description to uh, the Twitch channel so you can watch these in live in, the, or watch these live in their entirety. But I'm going to divert my attention to the stream now, and hopefully, oh, Cambridge are 21st in the form table, but we're not necessarily doing that well ourselves. I'll say we're the favourites, try and get a win. I don't know how well this one's going to go. We had to play Archie Brown at left back for a little while, Nick, to ensure that Wayne Rooney didn't recall him from loan because he was originally agreed by the previous manager to be being played at left back. And I've had to subsequently move him to left back because Rooney came to me when I was playing him at left mid saying, you're not playing him in the position you said that you were going to play him in. And he threatened to recall him if I didn't change that. So until we get out of January, Archie's going to have to play at left back. When we get out of January and he can no he can no longer be recalled, then I'm moving back to left mid. We've got a corner at the minute. Not only do we have a corner, Lamar Bogard has given us the lead with a header from that corner. Oh, lovely. You will have to forgive me if I'm, I'm a little less energetic today. This is the worst I've felt with the bug and having had the vaccine as well. My arm is starting to ache as well. I'll no doubt get a couple of a couple of side effects as well. I'll demand a bit more from Presley and Aniki in this second half. Hopefully we'll get it. Mullin Sarkic is going to get there and he snuck it home at the near post. And again, again, we've conceded just after half time. We did that. In the game against Crew as well. Two goals in three minutes at the beginning of the second half. It feels so weird watching Cambridge United score a goal and it be against me. It was the same in uh, the Barrow save on FIFA as well. I almost felt like celebrating, but it just feels weird. <laughs> now we're, we went 12 straight victories and now we've not won in five. Hopefully these two will be confirmed in the meantime between now and Rotherham. He says, hopefully, it'd be nice to get another centre-back in, a better centre-back to go alongside Archie. Not Archie, Alfie. Jake Lewinsky. One point, he was going to ask me, he was going to ask me for 10 grand a week. And he signed there for 1.6. Well, I'm pissed. I'm all right, thank you, Derek, mate. Bit under the weather, but surviving. Well, morale got a good boost from that pre-match press conference, but whether we'll be able to take that into the game or not, I'm not sure. I have no real faith at the minute in this in this eleven. 
Because it's not as strong as I want it to be. Still missing a number of key new signings that hopefully will help strengthen the entire squad, let alone just the 11. Lovely movement by, Nich uh, by Nicholson. Oh, and very close with his shot too. Don't concede before half-time, lads. No! Why do I say these things? Why do I say these things? There you go. Tuxaniki gets his first goal for the season and his first goal for the club. That's better. Build on that. Build on that. A 1-1 draw against Rotherham. Uh... I say you're unlucky. We had tw over 20 shots in that game. How we haven't come away with a with a victory is <sighs> perplexing and frustrating at the same time. Losing your top goal scorer with a broken leg is an absolute killer. That point has moved us into the playoff spots on goal difference, but you can see what the games in hand are like. So if Presley's currently on loan here. But if he agrees to sign permanently, that frees up the opportunity to bring someone else in on loan because currently we have the maximum amount of loans that we could potentially have at the club. Notice the morale is low. It's not low, but it's not great. I could try and G, G everybody up. It's probably a good idea. I say, look, think, ensure our heads don't drop. What we've been trying our best at there, I don't think it's best to make anyone feel any better by comments like that. What? Brilliant. Absolutely fucking superb. Well, that's that's not gone very well at all, has it? Everyone's furious. You have spoken to the squad in an attempt to lift their spirits. And everybody is now furious and hates me. Fantastic. Lovely. That went really well. We haven't been playing that well. And they're like, oh, we're trying our best. Really? Four, five straight league draws is trying your best, is it? When you went 12 wins in a row, five straight draws is trying your best. I'm not sure I buy that. Lads. The amount of players that we've had signed contracts with us that have ended up going somewhere else is really getting frustrating now. This club clearly don't have the draw. We don't have the draw that we hoped that we would do to try and bring players to the club. I'll take him off the shortlist. Right. We are getting close back close to being back to square one again. Well, it's 4 2 3 1 again. Let's see how well it goes. Do that. Just to, literally just to avoid Jamie Egan's wages going up. There isn't. I think we're just going to have to. We're just going to have to wait until the summer, really. We're just going to have to battle it out. We have to battle it out through the second half of the season. Try not to completely self destruct and then rebuild like mad in the summer so far from these highlights we look like we're the side that uh, the more adventurous but we're not really getting anywhere with our adventure till Ali Koiki gives us a 1-0 lead we haven't been we haven't been very good at keeping leads recently. But it's a lovely finish by Koiki. We'll take it. Chuck Saniki starting to bed himself into the squad now. A goal in the last game, an assist in this one. Things are looking more positive for him. But whether it's an idea we could actually... Oh, as if. Terrible defending. Just diabolical defending there. Really, really bad. Nobody goes for the runner. He just goes past two. And the defend... I mean, I can't. I can't even begin. I can't even begin to explain that goal to you, can I, really? 
Hold on to that thought. Amari! Really? Really, Amari? Really? Wow. Come on, Chucks, please. Please, Mr. Aniki. That's a good block. It's a 1 1 draw. It's another draw. Six straight League One draws. Fucking hell. We've gone from winning every game to drawing every game. We then end up losing every game towards the end of the season. I might even get the bloody sack. Yeah, for, we've been really unlucky with injuries. Losing Hanlon and, and Rashawn as well. Thank you. Aaron Presley will sign permanently. That means that we can now free up a loan option, potentially from Manchester City. Very pleased to sign on a permanent basis. Unsure why he's been signed after such an average loan spell. 13 goals in 26 games with five assists. That's not an average loan spell. He's fucking great. All right, so now Presley is permanently ours. One, two, three. We've got four loanees in, one of which I'm now not using either. So if I terminate Teddy Sharman's loan, as good as he's been for us, if we terminate his loan, I'll keep him on the shortlist though, because I might try and sign him next year. But if we terminate his loan, that opens up two more loan spots for us for the first team. He looks pretty tasty. Mauricio, do I get Mauricio in as a winger? That would give me more options on the bench because it would move Sam Nicholson is to the bench and I'd not have to... They don't want any contribution wage-wise. No contribution. Everybody says yes. Hopefully he agrees to come. We could. He might just straight up say, no, I don't want to play for you, which is fair enough. Let's see what happens with those two. And not necessarily Cam, Spice. Not necessarily Cam attacking midfielders. It's not necessarily a central attacking midfield. It's just attacking midfield, which will be out wide as well. So that loan of, of Mauricio would go towards that. Jay is very interested in negotiating terms. Hello, Matthew. Yes, please. Not at that wage level, though. Come on, pal. Come on, pal. Good lad. If I can get Matt J in, as well as those two loanees from City, I think we're in a very... Well, well, we're in a much better position than we were. Much better position than we were. Um, end our run of poor form away from home at Portman Road, who gets the team that's second in the league. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kwame. Chill your bean, sunshine. That was a hell of a goal. Uh, Ipswich already showing signs of why they are where they are in the league. That's quality. Beats his man, drives inside and whams it top bins. That's what Kwame Poku does. He is just that good. How Ipswich haven't gotten themselves up in this save, I'm not sure. Just I'm looking up I'm Eric Laporte as one of the best defenders in the world. We concede and we definitely don't have the best defenders in the world here at Bristol Rovers. 2-0 to Ipswich, game over. Ronaldo's ability to leap is just ridiculous. Well, a 2-0 defeat to the side that is second in the league. It's not embarrassing, but at the same time. We should be doing better. We should be challenging at least. Or should we? Maybe we're getting too far ahead of us. I really don't know with this Bristol Rover site. I really genuinely have no idea where this squad should be sitting in the table. Hutchinson's out for four to six weeks. Ah! I'm hopeful that at least one of the two loanies from City will come through. Now, at home against 23rd place Exeter surely that's got to be where we get back on the winning back on the winning treadmill 
Transfer Deadle Day. We're absolutely taking part in Transfer Deadle Day because I want, I want some people to sign. Three buddy incomings that I want to get done. Mauricio is in. He joins. I did think Howard Bellis would turn us down. That's frustrating. But Matt J is also in. So we've signed Matt J. We've also signed Mauricio, the attacking midfielder. Now, Matt J and Mauricio are both attack-minded midfielders. So hopefully that eases the promise from Alfie Kilgore as well. All right, let me just check that promise. Disappointed? I literally just signed two attacking midfielders. You are kidding me. I still want a centre back though. I've only got hours to do it. Do I commit to Brandon Cooper? Whilst only been able to see some of his stats. There weren't any good centre backs at City to loan. No, I don't think so. We tried Harwood Bellis, but he said no. I'm taking a risk. Sometimes they pay off, sometimes they don't. Brandon Cooper's in. Decent. Even though it only says two and a half star, I like those stats. Ewok McFluffery! With an eighth month. My guy. Thank you, mate. Brandon Cooper. They, like, Brandon Cooper has... Better technicals and better mentals than Alfie Kilgore. Yet it says that Kilgore is a three and a half star defender and Brandon Cooper is a two and a half star. I'm not buying that. His preferred destination would be Huddersfield. I'm going to reject. Don't be pissed at me. Don't be pissed at me. Don't be pissed at me. Please. I want to keep you. I want to keep you. They didn't bid anywhere near what your valuation was, so I'm, I'm not having it. Good, we're not having it. They've come back immediately with another £1.4 million bid that is non-negotiable. He's valued at 1.7. Total's 1.6. No. He stays. Hopefully, get back into the playoffs at some point today. Extra 23rd. Donnie are 18th. Fleetwood are 20th. Paul Bell 21st. So... If we are to get back to winning ways, which we haven't been for a little while, I hope today is the day. <clears throat> but uh, I don't know whether I'll have much luck or not. We'll have to wait and see. For the time being, we're praying that we can put together some good form. It felt rough the next day, then it all passed. Hopefully it's the same for you today. Yeah, I, d I don't necessarily feel that much rougher than I did yesterday. I've had a, a coldy buggy thing for a few days anyway. So I don't really know what's that and what's the vaccine, but hopefully we will improve in the coming days. I won't lie to you, you're right. <laughs> yep, I know. <laughs> Just the draw would take us above Wimbledon. Just the draw, because they're above us on goal difference on 49 points, but rather obvious. Oh, God. I was going to say, rather obviously, we want the win. Matt J, brand new signing, potential foot injury in the first 11 minutes. Our luck this season is great. Honestly, we went on that really long winning run and since then, everything has died. The whole season's just come to a halt since Brandon Hanlon got injured. You're going to need support, Presley. It is arriving. He's kicked it straight to... An exit to man, but at least we've got Archie on hand to try and recover possession. Keaton Bell, Bogard. There's options. There's plenty of them. Archie Collins to Aniki. Nicholson! Whoa! There you go. And his left foot. I mean, the keeper should have done better because that was straight at him, but he has smashed that. As Rotherham take a 1-0 lead against Cambridge, we take a 1-0 lead against Bristol Rovers. Nice little ball by Collins into Aniki, and he's just hit it first time. Keeper will be disappointed there. Keeper will be disappointed. We're very happy, though, that we've taken a 1-0 lead. And actually, what I do want to do is turn on work, in, work the ball into the box rather than um, shoot on sight, which is probably, actually probably the reason why we got that 
that chance and that goal, but I will alter things now. Always oh, going to give the ball away there. That's really poor. Oh, that's an excellent goal by S Siraki as well. Well, we're one belter apiece. But what we're doing, giving the ball away here with Keith to me. It's just a dodgy first touch. It's a terrible first touch. But take nothing away from the finish. That's spectacular. The past couple of years, Lando has really, really kind of stepped up as a, as a driver that I would like to consistently always see do well. Presley, a deadly finish to celebrate David's nine months. We have a Twitch baby, and that Twitch baby has birthed a goal for us. Thank you, David. We'll dedicate that goal to you, my man. Thank you very much indeed. You can just, you can just feel it coming. I feel it coming. Uh, I don't know as they have announced a track to replace Singapore yet. No. Is he onside there, Presley? He was. He's buried it. All right. There was another goal to come, but it was for us. We'll take that. We are back to winning ways at last. Bristol Rovers 3, Exeter City 1. Thank the Lord. Now let's go on a bit of a run again if we can, please. Oh, I forgot JT's manager there now. Thanks for the three points, JT. Bogard is very good performances at left back. Good, because that's where he's going to be playing for me continually. Does his contract expire? It doesn't. I might try and get him back on loan next year. Five and a half grand a week is a lot of money to pay, though. Archie Brown and Aaron Presley are jaded and could do with the rest. Well, I kind of need them. We've been most active with nine players coming in in this January transfer window. Uh, very busy indeed. From Sam Byram downwards, Byram, Steele, Aniki, Collins, Oliveira, Presley, Mauricio, J. Cooper. We have significantly changed the nature of this team in January. I hope... It's for the better. Time will tell. So Charles on pole. Lewis second and Verstappen third. After a quite remarkable qualifying session. We got one game of, uh, of FM in as well. With Exeter feeling our wrath. And finally we get back to winning ways. Which is hopefully the start of the recovery for the remainder of the season. It's a quiet February. And a busy-ish March. April pretty straightforward. May... Only the one game so far, but it could be more if we find ourselves in the playoffs. Right, that'll be all for us today, lads. I will send you on a raid, so don't go anywhere just yet. We'll send you guys across to uh, to Matt second yellow card, who's in a transfer window of his own, as we've just come out of ours. Uh, but, of course, check the YouTube channel for anything you may have missed, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the Barrow series continually, and hopefully I'll see you on Tuesday for the next stream as well, as we'll crack on and try and hopefully have a promotion challenging season here at Bristol Rovers. Right, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you next time.